Integrating CGI and real footage is one of the most important and challenging techniques in the VFX world. When done right, it can totally bring your imaginations and storytelling to life. In this video, I'll break down how VFX artists seamlessly blend 3D objects with live action footage. Here are two examples I made for blending 3D with real footage. Before we go into 3D, we need to record our footage to create a scene for the CGI elements. High contrast scenes with a lot of objects work best. That's because our 3D program needs enough information to 3D track the environment. That way our 3D elements follow the exact movement of the camera and stick into the video. So it's best to avoid heavy motion blur, shaky footage or blurry and overstabilized footage. Matching the lighting of the real world is a crucial step when integrating 3D objects. But what is the fastest and easiest way to match the lighting of a real world? This is the answer, a 360 camera. With this 360 camera, we can make a high dynamic range image, also known as HDRI. With this light information, we can recreate the reflections and the lighting for our CGI elements. We do this by simply placing the 360 camera roughly in the same spot where we want to place the CGI later. Taking different exposures from bright to really dark, this is then stitched together in one image that contains all the light information. Now we are ready to dive into our 3D software and transform reality. If you want to learn exactly how to make VFX shots like this, I have a full masterclass available. Here I will explain every step of the workflow from start to finish. From 3D tracking the footage all the way to CGI integration along with rendering and compositing the final shot. It was a really fun process to create my first course and I hope to create more advanced and beginner courses soon. Link is in the description if you guys are interested. There is still plenty of free content to come here on my YouTube channel. This is just for people who like to go in depth and see the full workflow for a VFX shot. Now it's time for 3D camera tracking, also named match moving. This is tracking the camera movement so our 3D helicopter sits perfectly in the scene. This is done by scattering various automatic points in the scene where the 3D tracker can lock onto. For some scenes, manual tracks are required to have an accurate result. Once there's enough information and the tracking points are clean, we can 3D solve the scene and set up the lens settings just like it was in real life. Here all this data will make a digital camera move and construct the scene in 3D. After that we fix the scale and orientation of the 3D world so the proportions are looking correct. With our footage tracked, it's time to add the 3D helicopter into the scene. First we made the animation of the rotor blades and added all the shaders and textures to our 3D model. Because our 3D track and scale is lined up perfectly, we can simply import it into our scene and rotate it so the angle looks good. To match the lighting, we add the HDRI in the scene along with the CGI sun for extra light and dark shadows. Speaking of shadows, here is a simple trick to cast shadows onto the ground. Add a plane, scale it up, and this plane will be used to catch our shadow. We will need to add a render tag RS object, we will override this, then enable, and in the shadow, we will just enable it. And there we go, we have our shadow catcher. This can make a massive difference for selling the shot. If you're into car shots, the same principles apply here. Match your reflections and lighting, and you're good to go. Finally, let's render out everything using AOVs. These are separate render layers which have different light informations. This way we have complete control over the render and post-production. Every lens and camera has its own characteristics and in our CG element we have to fake those imperfections so it matches it much better. If you don't do this, 
we can see with the naked eye it doesn't match together it doesn't blend in that footage and that is mostly because your grain and your blur of your lens is not incorporated in your CG element. So let's add these elements so it matches our lens characteristics. In CGI we use a color space called ACES. This color space contains a ton of information, even more than the human eye can see. When compositing, we combine the render layers and adjust the lighting and shadows where needed. After everything is in place and stitched together, we can export the ACES back into a REC709 or sRGB workflow. We can then choose to export this in a log profile, which is a flat profile, which we can then color correct and color grade. This flat color gives the artist complete control over the final feel and look of the scene. And there you have it, a 3D helicopter perfectly integrated in our live action footage. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to check out the film masterclass where we go much more in depth and explore the world of visual effects. Here you will find the full workflow with all the project files included. Check out the link in the description. Subscribe if you haven't already, place a comment below what you would like to see next and see you in the next video. Peace.